everyone welcome to today's video so once again we are up with another topic and it's not a normal day because we are not going to have any technical discussions we are rather going to talk about cat and mba preparation uh, so basically cat 2021 is upcoming and the, by august the forms will start coming out and by september you will be filling up the forms and by november you will be hopefully having the cat examination if everything goes fine so uh, talking about cat as examination i'm going to tell you uh, a few i'm going to give you a few tips to prepare for cat 2021 with the previous experiences that i have had and uh, many of you uh, the regular subscribers at least would be wondering why am i wearing this shirt today and not a regular t-shirt because it's not a normal day to be a manager to study masters of business administration you need to feel like one you need to imbibe the characteristics of a manager uh, within you and the first characteristic is discipline and proper dressing sense whenever you are working in a corporate and you are trying to imbibe the managerial skills within yourself the first thing is dress properly dress like a manager this sh uh, t uh, shirt of mine is very lucky because i have appeared for all the interviews with this particular shirt and uh, this is not ironed i will get it ironed soon because i have been wearing lately this shirt in all the interviews that I've uh, given uh, during this uh, post cat uh, interviews and uh, I've converted 90% of them so my credibility is uh, I have converted 8 IMs I got a call from 14 IMs including I am Koikor uh, I didn't qualify for I am Koikor eventually and uh, I didn't convert uh, I am Udaipur eventually I'm in the waiting list uh, other than that I am I was in the waiting list of I am Trichy and I am uh, Bodh Gaya or Kashipur both of these institutes asked for a fees to move the waiting list ahead I didn't pay the fees because I didn't want to opt uh, for MBA in those particular institutes other than that uh, um, I have not paid the fees for I am Rotax and I am Amritsar's separate program which demanded a separate fees uh, I was not opting for them as well um, apart from this I filled the form for IIT Kharagpur Vijisom only I didn't fill the form for NITI for FMS because people were eager to know whether I felt uh, like filled up these forms as well uh, I didn't I only filled up the ID Kharagpur form because I knew that with my percentile which was around early 90s because many people were eager to know that as well and I have a category of NCOBC I had the slight chance of converting ID Kharagpur with the experience uh, that I possess the experience that ID Kharagpur gives preference to is one to two years and I possess that experience and with the kind of profile that I have had uh, I had a slight chance of converting ID Kharagpur uh, I was very lucky enough to convert IIT Kharagpur. I had no plans to join any uh, B school this year, but fortunately, I did make it to IIT Kharagpur VGSOM and I have decided to join VGSOM. Um, um, apart from the IM calls, I have only this call and that's why I'm joining VGSOM. I have not been um, doing well enough to convert the main IMs or like the big institute so I have settled for something less and uh, now let me tell you what I would have done if I would have given CAT 2021 which I was preparing for I had bought the books but unfortunately or fortunately I am not appearing for CAT 2021 because I've decided to join the big school VG Zone. Um, uh, so you see I appeared for CAT 2019 and I appeared for CAT 2020 as well uh, both of the times I was unprepared CAT 2020 I solved the past few papers 2016, 17, 18, 19 1920 um, 18 19 so last five years papers approximately and a few free mock tests that were available on the sites of uh, it bullseye in particular and uh, probably IMS also CL's free mock test is not that great so I would uh, prefer you to go for hit bullseye free mock tests which are pretty accurate and almost gives you a feel of cat so if you want to know where you stand today you should go for the hit bullseye free mock test so just give the free mock test and you will get to know where you stand today as of now uh, so cat uh, 2020 pattern was changed cat 2019 up to cat 2019 it was a three hours paper uh, cat 2020 pattern changed i have a separate video on that what are the exact number of questions that uh, would be asked uh, uh, what is the exact time frame that was given it was reduced to two hours by i am indoor and that's why many people got startled a bit ones who were prepared as well couldn't uh, handle the pressure of the changed pattern of the examination and that's why they crumbled and because of which I think I was lucky enough my, that my percentile was boosted I fortunately cleared the cutoff for all the rounds uh, and that's why I got the calls so uh, for uh, general category students the all you need to do is uh, first you need to know your targets what are going to be your targets for CAT 2021 80 80 80 that's what uh, the one that I follow, the channel that I follow also says that if you cross 80, 80, 80 being a general category student, you are surely getting an IM call. I didn't believe it, 
but trust me you will out of the 20 irons that are present you will at least get one call if you have that 80 80 80 figure even if you don't have that sectional cutoff cleared i am rotak will give you a call provided you fill up their form separately and you have a good percentile you have a decent percentile of uh, over 90 you will get a call from i am rotak and you will surely convert it if you have a good interview experience and you are above 95 percentile ish uh, you are going to convert i am rotak and then it lies to you whether you want to go to i am rotak or not so first of all know the magic numbers 80 80 80 sectional percentile you will have to cover vrc 80 LID, uh, DILR 80 and quant 80. Now, how many number of questions do you need to attempt or get it get correct to get this percentile? Depending on the current pattern and considering that it remains the same, you need to get about 888 eight, eight questions in each sections correct, or even 777 seven, seven will do, depending on the difficulty of the paper in each of the sections to get a secured 80 percentile. And once you get a 80, 80, 80 in all the three sections, automatically your percentile becomes 90. When you get a 80 plus, 80 plus, 80 plus, your automatic overall percentile becomes 90 plus. That's the rule. That's the golden rule. Now, if you want to get a 95 plus, make sure that you do well in one of the particular sections extremely well, like 99 percentile or something like that, and decently good in the other two sections. First of all, think about the sectional percentiles. If you are not good in a particular section, practice it thoroughly. Because even if you secure 99 and 99 in the other two sections like DILR and Quant, and you cannot score in VARC, which is the case with most of the engineers, you are going to have trouble. I have seen people getting a 98, 98 in Quant and DILR and getting a 68 in Verbal and not getting any IM call uh, or any major MBA colleges call in this particular CAT examination. I have a few friends like that. I have a few seniors like that. So you see, there is a problem with this sectional percentile. You need to score equally well in all the sections. So first of all, clear your doubts, clear the syllabus, complete the syllabus in each of the individual sections. Now a few tips to excel in each of the sections. VRC, the only trick is to solve RCs more and more and how to practice rcs there is reading comprehensions more and more the term itself suggests the solution to the problem reading read through it read anything that you get newspapers storybooks articles magazines uh, b-town stories read read through digital media read through hard uh, copies uh, read through uh, anything and everything that you get irrespective of the content that is there. So you see, uh, because CAT papers are not typically based on technical topics, CAT papers, RCs are not typically based on social topics. It can be anything, social, technical, science, uh, even law, even history, typical medieval history might be given to you. So you see, there are there is a lot of scope regarding this RC. So if more you read, the more you practice, the more you excel in VRC. So the trick to excel in VRC is to read and read more. Now, one golden rule of VRC, the day you start reading so much that you stop scrolling down a particular article to see where it ends, irrespective of how interesting the article is, the most boring article should even intrigue you so much that you do not go at the end to see where it ends. That day you will certainly feel that you have started reading. You have excelled in the art of reading. And the day you excel in the art of reading, you are going to excel in the art of VRC. So VRC, the only solution is reading. No uh, teacher, no guidance will really help you except the fact that you are reading. Unless and unless, un unless and until you are reading thoroughly, it's going to be difficult. Now comes to DILR. DILR is all about instinctive solving. So try to develop your instinct. Solve past year papers. Solve test series. A very important thing that comes to my mind in this aspect is take a test series. The IMS test series is something that I would suggest because they have the most resemblance to the actual CAT paper. They have the most standard questions. So I would suggest if you go for a paid test series, get IMS. I have seen their test series. It's quite relevant to CAT. It has a great resemblance to the actual CAT paper. So go for IMS test series. So once you get the test series, you practice and practice again. Give mocks, give sectional mocks, give DILR. Try to solve uh, logic-based DI. 
So you see the breakup of the DILR is available on the internet in the cat paper itself. Try to solve those. How, how many LRs will be there? How many DI will be there? The selection of set in case of DILR is very important. This time also I screwed up in DILR selection of set. I selected a six question set, two six question set and I messed up in both of them, solving partially each of them. Unfortunately, fortunately enough, the other people screwed up even worse. And that's why I secured a good percentile in DILR. But to be precise, if I say DILR is mostly about selection of sets, how well you choose your set. And that only comes by instinctive solving. And that only comes by practice. The more you practice, the more you get to know which kind of DI or which kind of LR are you most comfortable with. And when you get the paper, try to strike that. For me, LR was something that I always preferred over DI. And LR that too pattern based was something that I have a knack for. So I always chose that kind of sets. If you saw two or three sets in the cat paper DILR, more than enough, my friends. To excel in the DILR, choice of set is very important. Learn that. Now coming to the last section, which is the strength of most engineers and the weakness of non-engineers. There is no strength, nor no weakness. One, mathematics, as we know, is all about practice. Mathematics, the greatest trick is to complete the syllabus. Once you complete the syllabus, choose your strength. Arithmetic is relatively easier to approach than algebra and geometry. So I would suggest geometry, mensuration, mensuration is something that you can solve at first. Geometry, permutation, combination, probability, these type of topics, leave it for the very end. Choose the easier topics, profit and loss, speed, time, distance, work and time, uh, percentages, uh, mensuration, logarithmic series in algebra, series problems in algebra, they might sound difficult, but they're relatively easier. So you need to select the easier topics that you find easy, not what I am saying, whatever you are comfortable. If you are comfortable in solving permutation combination, go for it, go for it. But generally permutation combination, probability and geometry, these are the three most difficult topics. For, for geometry, if you know the trick, you will get the answer. So solve and solve more. To know the tricks, very important that you get the tricks. That's why I'm saying take the test series, because once you solve the test series questions, the you will get to know the answers and the approach and there you will find the trick to solve one problems. One problems you need the trick to solve quickly. It's not about solving. It's about how quickly you can solve. So VRC is about reading. DILR is about choosing the sets. Quant is about practice and doing it correctly, accurately with less time. That is accuracy with speed is quant uh, all about. And quant is the most scoring section. So quant at least you should attempt or aim more than 10 questions with this kind of pattern that I am indoor is setting out of the 26 questions that you will get. And DILR two sets uh, or three sets, three sets would be decent, would be enough. Uh, about three sets means three sets of four questions, about 12 questions. 12 questions correct is more than enough. Even two and a half sets, two sets will do. Eight questions will also be good. It will fetch you about 90 plus percentile. For VRC, about 14 to 15 questions would give you a 90 plus or 95 plus percentile depending on the difficulty of the paper. So these are the tricks that you should ace. First thing you should do is buy Arun Sharma books. Arun Sharma have uh, sort of recently launched his uh, latest uh, books. So buy all of them. He has four books, DI, LR, VRC and Quant. Buy all those books and complete all the topics if you can right from right now and get an IMS test series. Keep on solving those. Uh, don't be a fool like me. Don't uh, give it a like sit for the next year that I will give it for the next year and then you do decently well and then you compromise with the kind of college that you are joining. For me, uh, my vision was clear. If I get IIT Kharagpur, I will join. But many wouldn't want to join IIT Kharagpur and then if you convert, you will feel bad that I am leaving it. You will have a lot of confusions around. So the better thing is to prepare for it once and for all. And if you're sitting for just an experience, do not fill the forms. 
do not fill any forms that is what i did this year i didn't fill any other form i didn't fill mdi gurgaon i didn't fill um, nit mumbai i didn't fill um, fms delhi i didn't fill sp jain because i was not interested to join this year only but since i gave vijay som because i wanted to go for their interview because their own interview is more of technical basis and i converted that interview i will tell you the details of that interview as well and how to ease the interview once you are done with the cat uh, examination i will make a separate video on how to ease the interview as well because that is somewhere around my forte as well so uh, it went well i got the exam chance so i didn't want to give it another chance i was happy with what i got so if you want to do it get on your shoes get out of the shackles and do it and bring it back home so that's it that was my cat journey and uh, that was the experiences that i want to share with you thank you very much if you liked it share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon that's it for today